Happy to be home. Good, 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 good greetings, loved ones. What if I did a remix of my intro every single time? That was really weird. I might have to edit that out. Greetings loved ones and welcome back to another vlog. This video is going to be basically an unpack with me, reset my life with me, and get back into my routines kind of a video. So the last video that I uploaded, it went up last Sunday, which was the first day that I got into Cabo for my girls trip. I got home really, really late at night on that Thursday night. And yesterday, Friday, I really just did stuff around the house. Like I was vlogging, but I wasn't talking to the camera camera because everything I was doing was just kind of boring reset stuff. And for example, I mean, I'll show you what I did. It wasn't that crazy. I unpacked my bag a little bit. I did loads and loads and loads of laundry. I cleaned out all of the stinky leftovers and cleaned out the fridge a little bit and fed those leftovers to the pigs. And we went for a walk, the dogs and I, and I took out the flowers that were in a vase in my last vlog that I was adding some daffodils into, but they freaking died because somebody commented on my last vlog and was like, hey, I'm a florist and daffodils secrete something into the water that kills the other flowers in the vase. So if you cut more of them in the future, like put them in their own vase. So I was like, thank you. So shout out to that person for looking out for future me, okay? And what else did we do yesterday? I just like ran the dishwasher and kind of tidied up around here. And then I streamed at night and watched a lot of Gilmore Girls and just kind of vibed out, you know? I should also say that the reason I'm being so freaking chillax, got no plans, nothing on the agenda, is because Finley is out of town. He is on a bachelor trip for his best friend, Tim. Tim and his fiance, Cassidy, are getting married next month in April. So we're gonna go to that and it's gonna be incredible. But Cassidy already had her like bridal shower and everything that I went to and Finley's now at Tim's bachelor party and it's like a mountain man weekend. <laughs> They're just like in the Virginia mountains and they just have a cabin and there's a ton of guys there and they're just like painting and being pure and just hanging out. I don't know if they're being pure actually, but that's what he's up to. And our trips overlapped. Like he left on Thursday afternoon and I got back on Thursday night. So I had to take like an Uber home from the airport and stuff like that because he couldn't pick me up, but it ended up being totally fine and not even that expensive. I was shocked because I live an hour away from the airport. Anyways, this is like not any travel detail that you really need to know, or I'm sure weren't dying to know. But if you were dying to know how Cabo was, it was absolutely incredible. I had such a good time with Lindsay and Nevin, and we just were being silly with Lindsay the entire time. I took a lot of deranged TikTok content, and so did Lindsay, and honestly, Nevin made some too. So I'll put all of our TikTok usernames on the screen so that you guys can go and watch all of our deeply unwell content. But we just had a lot of ideas rolling around up here, you know? So we were trying to bring them to life. Life. and I'm happy with the vision that came out of it. <laughs> but I'm sure some of you can relate. Like when you go on a trip with people and you all just have the same sense of humor, some <laughs> very wild things occur in the way of just like inside jokes and yeah, just crazy stuff. So we made a lot of friends at the resort, Ray, Renee, King Renee, and also our King Jair at the bar who was hooking us up with espresso martinis and Renee was hooking us up with free cabanas and we stayed at a beautiful, resort. It was called Pueblo Bonito Pacifica. And I highly, highly recommend the experience. It was the first time that any of us, I think, had ever been to like an all-inclusive resort. So yeah, we just like paid a whole bunch up front and then didn't have to pay for anything while we were there, except for tips, because we did tip on all of our like meals and bar tabs and all that kind of stuff. But not every all-inclusive resort requires you to tip or even is allowed to accept them. So if you ever go to an all-inclusive resort, you got to look that shit up, okay, brother? Because on the first day we were like, wait, we should definitely be tipping if they're allowed to take the tips, which they were. But some other resorts have it like built into their bill. Anyways, this is all just like financial hubbub, but we did have a totally wicked time. But I did want to say that other than having the time of our lives and just vibing out, drinking, laying in the cabana and the beach and on the pool side and meeting lots of fun people and going out in downtown Cabo. I took a lot of L's when I was traveling. So let me just say that my Stanley Yarrow 40 ounce tumbler, she's gone. RIP. Now I'm just using this brewmate. So thank God Lindsay gave me this too a couple years ago, but it used to be Finley's. So he has his Pokemon stickers all over it. 
fucking deli bird and Pikachu. What can you do? But yeah, if you want to hear all the details of like the trip and funny stories and all that shit, just go and watch my live stream. I'll link it down below on my Twitch channel. But yes, I did leave my Stanley Cup in the Cabo airport and it was right in customs, like right before you're released through the doors. And they have these signs on the doors that are like, you cannot re-enter once you leave these doors. So I talked to like so many different fucking people and they were all like, oh, you need to find somebody to accompany you if you're going to go back in. And there was like, a language barrier, you know, because I speak very little Spanish. I took Spanish in middle school and high school, but not throughout all of high school. I think I only took it freshman year or something like that. So I only know un poquito, <laughs> very, very little Spanish. And so yeah, there was a lot of issues there. I literally could see where I left it in customs through the double doors, like when they would open up for people. I was like, that's it. That's my cup. And they're like, you can't get it. And long story short, they ended up telling me that they found the cup. And then when they brought it out, it was not my cup. It was a white one so I was like in my head I have regrets I should have just taken that one instead <laughs> but I didn't leaving it behind in the airport made me realize how attached I was to the cup and how I really loved it and I gave Finley my old hydro flask so I'm not gonna take it back from him you know he can have that while I continue the search for my Stanley but I'm planning to go to Target today so I'm going to like check out there if they have one but yeah I really went through all the links at that Cabo airport they probably thought I was fucking insane asking for our cup for a half hour, 10 different people going up to all different employees being like, they told me to talk to you and they were like, no hablo ingles. And I was like, I'm a Rio, um, Taza, a cup. And they were like, cup, what are you looking for a cup for? Anyways, it was muy stupido on my part to leave it, but RIP, Yero cup. I hope that somebody at least stole her or got her or something and is enjoying her presence in their lives. I just had a lot of like travel hubbub, like that wasn't the only thing. I had a lot of different just like chaotic things that occurred. So again, if you want to hear all those details, you can just go watch the recorded live stream. But now I'm back here and I'm vibing and it's a beautiful Saturday and I actually did not go to Body Pump yesterday on Friday morning because I got in so late. I didn't get home until 2 a.m. Okay, so that was unwell and so I wasn't going to wake up at 8 a.m. for Body Pump. I just said, hell no. And then yesterday throughout the day, I was like, okay, yeah, I guess I'll just go to Zumba in the morning on Saturday. And then I went to bed last night at like 1 a.m. Not even too late to be able to wake up for Zumba or anything, but I did not fall asleep until 3.30 or 4 in the morning. Needless to say, I didn't make it to Zumba this morning and I'm just hanging out this afternoon now thinking about what I'm gonna do today. I have to go get groceries. I wanna go to Target to look for the Stanley. I need to go to the dog store. Also, I wanted to say I got new candles from Winewicks. This is not sponsored. I got this like I'll show it to you. You're balancing on it, actually. I got their signature sampler, which is four different candle scents in like old beer bottles. So Wine Wicks turns wine bottles and beer bottles into candles and upcycles them that way. So I have one burning right now next to my laundry. I put this up here because I need to fold this laundry. I wanted to say, I got new clothes. And I know what you're thinking. Bench, you have so many clothes, you need to calm down. But honestly, I got all of these because, well, for a couple reasons. Some of my friends were having like Depop sales and story sales. This brand that I love and have followed for a very long time, Hot Lava. The owner, Steak, her name is actually Rachel Finley, but her Instagram is Insta Steak, and like that's her nickname and stuff like that. I read her book, I'm pretty sure back in like November, and since then she noticed my review on my bookstagram and on my Goodreads. She started following me and we just started like DMing and stuff like that, so shout out to Steak. She's awesome and I've been following her for for years and her house flooded so she did this like name your price sale on hot lava's website and so i named my price on this cute little set and it's like these little um gingham shorts and then a matching tiny little top. And I just tried it on this morning. I know it's not the weather to wear this yet. Like it's still pretty fucking cold here, but I cannot wait for spring and summer to wear this set. Also, when I found out that her house flooded, I shopped on her Depop page. I just wanted to support her, you know, in any way that I could. And she listed these kind of like light pink biker shorts. And I've honestly been looking for bikers already. So I got these. And I also got this kind of underlayer shirt because I'm obsessed with layering right now. I feel like this is from like American apparel or something yeah it is <laughs> and it's just like this rosy colored 
top, so I got all that from her. And then also my friend Sarah, who actually took our Christmas card photos this year, her at is Sarah James Photography. She was doing a story sale and she listed this plaid skirt and holy shit, it's like green and black. And I have been looking for a plaid skirt ever since I sold one of mine on Depop a couple years ago. Like, I don't know why I did that. I had a lot of regrets, so I kind of wanted to get a new wool plaid skirt that would be like nice and pretty. And when she listed that one, I said, bitch, I'm getting it. And then I also got this kind of fun hippie-ish skirt that would just be really good for layering and uh, having fun with in spring and summer. So that's my new clothes. I also got these, hold on. Not me doing an impromptu haul of all the stuff I ordered while I was out of town. I wanna say though, I'm doing a closet clean out probably for my next video. So I just wanted to kind of revamp the wardrobe and I'm also gonna be getting rid of a lot of stuff. But also on Sarah's story sale, she's like a fantasy nerd like me and goes to a lot of Ren fairs and she listed these little deer antler mushroom little hair clips. So you would clip them into your hair like this. And it's like little fantasy ears. So cute, dude, I love them. And she was listing them for like $6. Of course. So, yep, that happened. Also, if you couldn't already tell, I got a new breadwinning housewife crew neck too to match my little sweatpants. So now I have the full set because Kenzie restocked this navy blue color and she said it was gonna be the only restock that she ever does. So I was like, fuck, okay, navy looks really good on me. I'm just gonna get it. My Miss Megan makeup fashionista shopping addiction self jumped out this past few weeks, but it's gonna be fine, okay? Everybody, just don't worry. I'm gonna get rid of a lot of stuff too. All right, folks, we're finally in the car and it's like 4.30 now, <laughs> but I have an excuse of why I didn't leave to run errands until now because I don't know if you guys all watch my Instagram stories, but a couple of weeks ago, this guy came and just knocked on our door and said that he saw our house and thought it looked really historic and wanted to use his metal detector around our property. And Finley was like, yeah, sure, why not? And he spent like the whole Saturday here and then we got his number and stuff like that, or Finley did. And um, apparently he texted him yesterday and was like, hey, can I come back and do some more looking around? And I just didn't want to leave him here, you know, because if he saw me drive out of the driveway and be like, see you, you know, I just didn't want to leave him at the property alone. And I don't know, maybe I was just being paranoid, but I don't trust any man that is not my husband, okay? Well, or my father or my brother, but still, like, <laughs> I just really didn't want to leave him. Him, so I just saw him pull out of the driveway and I was like, okay, well now we can go. But in the meantime, I was just watching Gilmore Girls. I'm on the last season, episode 19, I think. And it's been amazing. And I was also just looking on eBay and on the store locator on Stanley to see where they sold them in stores around me. And really the only places, cause Target is like the number one hotspot. So it's probably not even gonna be there. But the main stores are like REI and Dick's Sporting Goods, but none of the ones around me have the color I want. The only color that they had was fog, which is kind of like a grayish blue, but I'm just gonna keep looking online, Poshmark, eBay. Anyways, we're gonna head out to the dog store now, but unfortunately, Larry has really bad news to tell you. He's not gonna be able to leave the car while we're out. So he got all of his zoomies out before we came in. Right, buddy? Because dad accidentally took the Lexus. Oh yeah, I'm in the truck. When he told me he was leaving for the trip, he was like, I'm gonna have to drive a ways, so I would really like to take the Lexus and I said, okay, but unfortunately the Lexus has the dog collars and leashes in it. So I didn't really realize that until I loaded them into the car. And then I was like, fuck, I'm not gonna be able to, I mean, unless I hold them around the store, they're not gonna be able to come into the pet store with me, but that's fine. They just want their treats and um, to come on a little adventure with their mom. So that's what we're doing today, right? Let's put on our seatbelt and listen to our podcast and hit the freaking road. What I'm gonna do is first go to the pet store and then on the way back, I'm gonna stop at Target and also Wegmans. Okay, sounds good. Okay guys, dog haul. When I went in, I asked at the front counter and they thought I was really weird for asking this, but I was like, do you guys have any extra leashes like underneath the counter? Like not to buy, but just to borrow for a second. Like my husband took the car with the dog leashes in it. I was just, I really want to bring my dogs in. And I was just wondering, or maybe at the groomer in the back, cause you guys, you know, clip them in with the leashes and they were just like, no, we don't have that. And I was like, 
okay. They were looking at me really weird, like avoiding eye contact with me afterwards. I was like, I didn't think that was that weird of a question. I also considered getting a shopping cart and lining it with like this jacket over here and a moving blanket that we have in the back and pushing them inside. But then I was like, they would be horrified about that. Larry's even scared of my water bottle, so he would not like the sounds and vibrations of a shopping cart. But let's do a little haul for them since they couldn't come in with me. I'm sorry, I tried, buddy. I got them their favorite freeze-dried lammies. They're obsessed with these. Yesterday, I told them that we had just run out and that we didn't have any more yet, and they sat waiting by the door like, there has to be a treat somewhere in this house. Good patience, Larry. Good boy. Rue, are you sitting? Good girl. That's very patient. And you can have more of those sweeties later. Finley, while I was out of town, sent me a video of the empty bag and Larry just licking it clean when he ran out of them while I was on vacation. I also got Rue her own retractable leash in pink. Wow, do you love it? I also got Larry's favorite, his no-hide bagel. Yeah, that's a new flavor for you. This is sweet potato and peanut butter. Do you want to eat it on your little blankie over there? He's not really interested right now. What else did I get my precious doggies? Oh, this is really important. So they have two separate dog tags each, and one of them a subscriber made for me, and it just says their names, Larry and Rue, which is very cute. They don't know our phone numbers or our address, so like why would they have put them on? But they're like metal stamped and very adorable. And so I love those, and that's what's currently on their harnesses. And then Larry also has some kind of a tag from when we first got him, but it has Lindsay's phone number on it too, not Finley's. So that being said, I got them new dog dog tags with their last name on them since we got married. Wow, Larry and Rue Orstrom, really incredible. I can't show you at the back, obviously, because of our phone numbers, but love it. Okay, that's it, dogs. I also got them more dog food, but it's in the back. Okay, do you want to go over to your blanket? Next, we go to Target. Okay, we're here, the Super Target, and Larry's really comfortable in his dad's jacket. He's guarding his sweet potato peanut butter bagel. He doesn't want to eat it yet. He's saving himself. And Rue, you're going to stay here and be really patient, okay? Hey, y'all, I came again to the Chick-fil-A, y'all. In a previous vlog, I did Chick-fil-A mukbang, where I just got a large fry and vibed out for a while. And I'm going to do the same thing right now, at least for a little bit, because they were so delicious. And I was in the area, and I figured, hey, why the hell not? And I even considered, you guys are going to cancel me for being a horrible, sustainable person. I even considered getting a lemonade, even though it has a plastic straw. I know, can you even believe it? But the reason I didn't is because at my Chick-fil-A's in Georgia, they switched to paper cups and they finally canceled the styrofoam, but they did not cancel the styrofoam here. And I hate styrofoam so much with a burning passion because it never breaks out in landfills. So I never get it. If I see styrofoam at a place, I say, nope, mm, nope, uh-uh. The French fry monster is here. It's me and you. I also decided not to get the lemonade because the woman in front of me ordered one and the cashier dumped it all over her and all over her like credit card while she was paying, all over the counter. And I was like, this is a sign. It was pretty dark, but they finished cleaning it up when I was leaving, so she's fine. You can only have the tiny french fries at the bottom room, not any of the big ones, too big for you. Even though it's a Saturday night, it's been pretty chill out. I went to Target. Of course, they didn't have the Stanleys, but they had like Contigo cups everywhere. And they had some of the Simply Modern ones. And a lot of my viewers on Twitch say that the Simply Modern cups are like a great dupe for the Stanley. So I don't know. I, I might be in the market. I might be considering because I've been outbid three times on three different Yarrow colored cups on eBay today. Who wants to pay $90 for a fucking cup? I cut myself off at 50 People be crazy, you know? Women be shopping, am I right? I fucking love that Office reference so much. Women be shopping. I miss watching The Office. Finley and I rewatched it either three or four times throughout our relationship already, and I think we're due for another rewatch, but he's just obsessed with video games. Like, we don't even watch our shows anymore. We didn't even finish the new season of Westworld. I know, could you even believe it? She can't believe it. Mmm, this is a good appetizer to my dinner. I think I'm gonna be like insane tonight, like a man. And I think I'm gonna get like a six pack of beer and just like scrapbook on the couch while I watch Gilmore Girls. Seems like something a man would do when his wife's out of town, you know? 
well, maybe not the scrapbooking, but I've been really looking forward to this night of just self-care, kicking my feet up. I mean, I love my husband. I'm glad that he's having a totally wicked time, but I also can't fucking wait to be alone and just drink my Reebs. Do you think I should get Lagunitas? Hmm. Okay, well, I've never heard of that. I don't think they make that. Rue just told me that I should get Galapagos Island beer because she's obsessed with the Galapagos. She asks us to go to the Galapagos Island multiple times a day. Like, I just don't even know what's wrong with you. I've never even been there. I don't know where she read about it. Something about Rue that we made up over the past like a few months is that she's on a really dark side of the internet and that's where she like learned all of her sense of humor and stuff. And we'll just be like, Rue, you can't say that. And we'll never even like say what she said and we'll tell each other, we'll be like, it's too bad to repeat. Mm-hmm, that's you. It's just so much funnier because she looks so innocent and small. Do any of you guys make up backstories for your dogs? Let me know in the comments. Or your cats, you know, your pets in general. That fry was double-sided, like two fries woven together. They got stuck together and it was really thick and chewy. Why does that sound so weird coming out of my mouth? I feel like at this phase of my life, I've re-entered my suburban era. I, when I first moved here, was like, wow, there's a super target like 20 minutes away and it's kind of on the way back from my gym. And when people who grew up in the area that we live in would ask, how are you liking it? I know it's super rural, blah, blah, blah. I'll be like, I'm driving 20 minutes to go to Target. It's like kind of amazing. I just love the urban sprawl. <laughs> and one of my friends goes, you like the urban sprawl? That's what like everybody hates is the places that you're talking about is like the, you know, the development and whatever. And I honestly think that because we're moving to Vermont, which is a place that's like super undeveloped, like they protested getting like a super target and a Walmart and all those things. I really think that now I'm just getting it all out. Does that make sense? Cause I don't necessarily like want this forever, but it's fun to go for a night on the town where I stop at Target and Chick-fil-A and go get my groceries. And it's all in a span of, you know, a couple hours. Like that's great. But I also love going to the local co-op and making all of my breads and my, you know, bulk ingredients from home and growing my own food and whatever the hell, like that's gonna be my reality for the rest of my life. But right now I'm fucking living in this. And it's been good. I honestly think that it's pretty good to live in like an undeveloped area or a more rural area because you learn to fend for yourself. My Grammy growing up used to always tell me, you are so self-sufficient. I love how self-sufficient you are. Like when I would go over to her house, she'd be like, what do you want for breakfast? I'll make it for you. And I'll be like, Grammy, I already made my breakfast. Like totally fine. And I've always just really admired that about myself and also my siblings, you know? Like we were raised to be that way, raised to do things for ourselves and not be babied and not rely on like convenience so much even though i grew up in the suburbs i'm not trying to say like oh my life wasn't convenient because it was i grew up in the suburbs outside of atlanta like i lived in this urban sprawl when i was growing up and when i go back home i'm like sheesh wow all the neighborhoods they all look the same and there's just a bunch of new churches and new dentist offices and new shopping centers you know what's new <laughs> but it's kind of a sleigh. Like I like going back to all of my favorite old spots when I go back home and now I'm making new favorite spots here. They're also kind of the same chains I grew up around now that I think about it. Anyway, I'm excited for my rural self-sufficient lifestyle later. That's all I'm trying to say. But now I love a good Chick-fil-A French fry and hanging out at the local Target. <laughs> okay, I've hit pan on my Chick-fil-A sauce. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Love ya. I almost forgot. I told Rue I would give her the little nubs of french fries. Her favorite. Wow, that's very nice. One more. Very delicious. You look really beautiful in the spotlight, Rue. Mm -hmm. What about you, Larry? Do you want one? He doesn't really like french fries, but we always try. Not interested. Okay, you get this one too. <laughs> she said, don't mind if I do. Mm -mm. That's it. We are at Wegmans and I'm gonna go get some freaking groceries. You wanna see my list? Okay, you didn't even have to ask. I'm just gonna show it to you. I already got some stuff at the bottom down there, so I don't really need that much, but I'm gonna make three separate dinner recipes. So that's my freaking plan, Stan. Mwah. All right, this is what I'm having for dinner. Some roasted vegetable ravioli that I've been meaning to make for a little bit. It's got like a little less than five minutes if you hear any tick, tick, ticking. And I'm cooking it in the sauce. 
instead of just in water because I wanted to. So I'm using the Grandpa Sasco's Vegetarian from Wegmans. Love it. Incredible. And I'm going to show you what I got for groceries as well. So I got a bunch more of the Honey Mamas because these chocolate cake ones are Finley's favorite. And at Chick-fil-A they gave me more of these Chick-fil-A sauces than just the one that I asked for. So they're in there too. But y'all, speaking of that Chick-fil-A, Oh God, after I ate that, I was walking through Wegmans and that's why I haven't talked to you until now. I genuinely thought I was gonna shit my pants. Like I made it, I know that this is maybe TMI and I'm like, sorry if you thought that I was like cuter, hot and sexy and fun before this and this changes your perception of me. I just had to get this off my chest. I made it like halfway through the grocery store and through my list and then I was getting some salmon and I was at the fish section and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I genuinely feel so fun horrible right now and I asked the guy I was like is there a bathroom right here or do I have to go to the front of the store and he was like you have to go to the front of the store or there's one upstairs and I was like okay and then I just like left my cart outside of the bathroom because you're not allowed to bring it in and I it was horrible I'm not gonna get into the details but it was really terrible and then I just took some Pepto-Bismol when I got home thank fucking god I feel better now and I'm gonna have some dinner so Hopefully I'm totally fine now, but the Chick-fil-A fucked me up. So probably won't be doing that on the vlog anymore, <laughs> okay? I don't know if it was the sauce or what, but the other groceries I got are really just ingredients for recipes this week. Fontina cheese, some mozzarella. I got some more kombuchas. I got Finley's faves, the Alive. And then I also got myself some like strawberry ones, mango ones, various ones. And I didn't get much produce now that I'm thinking about it, but I did get these beers, the Loose Cannon IPAs, and I got a six pack, but I needed to also be able to fit my um, wine bottle in there still because it's opened. So I put one in here and I'm gonna enjoy this one first, but probably later. And then my salmon's in here in the freezer so it doesn't go bad. I also got this organic ramen miso for a recipe. I just need the noodles, but I figured that this would just be fine. And then I also got these artichoke hearts. And that's not it. I also got some stuff in here, some gigantic packs of Lara bars two giant 18 bar packs. Cause I was buying like these small six packs for a while. And I was like, why am I doing this to myself? Like I need more than that, you know? And that's it. Not anything too crazy today. Just wanted to show you. My delicious raviolis are almost done. I'm gonna eat these while I watch some Gilmore Girls. Nobody's shocked. And my dogs are also in there eating too. Delicious. I put some homegrown sage and rosemary on there. You ready to go upstairs, Rue? Time for Gilmore Girls. Yeah, let's go watch the Gilmores. She loves it. All right, y'all, I be scrapbooking. I've made it to March 22nd when I'm filming this clip and I'm on episode 21 of season seven of Gilmores. There's only 22 episodes, so I'm really getting there, y'all. And I just have to admit, Larry knows cause he just licked the tears from my eyes, but I just violently cried to the karaoke part. Those of you who know, you know, but in episode 20, Lorelai has a little karaoke moment and I cried so hard because it was just so real and I want it so bad for them. Anyways, I'm not gonna give away too much. I'll give you my thoughts when I finish the season. And for those asking, yes, I'm going to watch the reunion shows after this, you know. A year in the life, I think I need another reeb. I only had one in some of my kombucha and I'm still scrapbooking away, I mean. I think it's only like 11 p.m. So I'm vibing. I might stay up real late. Okay, I did it. I finished Gilmore Girls. These are my first thoughts. I've had one beer and a half, okay? And I just finished sobbing. I need to say before this that I'm going to include all of the spoilers in this. So if you haven't watched Gilmore Girls, I mean, I know it's a show that's older. It's from like the late 90s, early 2000s. But still, if you haven't seen it and you're planning on watching it or, you know, you hear me talk about it all the time, you're like, oh, I've always wanted to watch Gilmore Girls. Like, just don't let me spoil it for you here and skip through until this shot is not set up like this anymore and we're in, you know, another part of the vlog. Sound good? Okay, first of all, thank mother fucking God that Lorelai and Luke got back together because I've been hoping for this. I've been praying and saying and hoping and praying literally since the beginning of the show that they would do this. And when they broke up and didn't get married last season or whatever, 
I was crushed, truly, to my core. So much so that I made, even while watching this season, I was like halfway through when she was like with Christopher again and they were like trying to work it out and they got fucking married. I was like, oh my God. But I, I made a Sims family of just Lorelai and Luke and I was like, they're together in my Sims universe. Rory and freaking Logan breaking up. I just, I couldn't believe that, honestly. Just because I was like, really rooting for them especially at the end when logan just was being so fantastic for her and i know they had like their weird little rough patch when he you know fucked up his like business deal at the end but still i was like they can make it work and then when he proposed i was like yeah she is 22 but maybe she does need to just like dive in head first with him but who knows i'm about to start gilmore girls a year in the life right after this and maybe he'll be in the show I really fucking hope so, because I really see them together, you know. I know that she's going off on her Barack Obama campaign trail, but I hope that they meet up. So funny that she's doing that, by the way. Like, such an interesting part of their scripting and everything. Really very interesting. We love Barack in this house. Barack and Michelle used to be my screensaver for a very long time. It's like a deranged photo of them that's like in my meme folder. Anyways, I'm um, really happy for her. I was crying so hard when the entire town of Stars Hollow threw her the going away party. And it was just all of everybody. I'm gonna cry again. Freaking Babette. Babette was like, you're such a beautiful girl. I love you. And Patty, freaking Luke doing that all for them. And Kirk, oh my god, I'm gonna miss Kirk so much in the show. <laughs> he is such a good character. <laughs> it's like deranged. His deranged commentary just never, it never ceases to provide a little bit of comic relief, you know? And I just love him so much. Like, <laughs> in the end, in the final episode when Lo Lorelai was looking for Luke to thank him, she found out that he threw the entire party last minute for them, you know? She was trying to find him and she was like, hey, Kirk, have you seen Luke? And he just walked right past her and goes, can't hear you, I popped my eardrum. <laughs> of course, he would say that at that moment. Just such an amazing stellar cast and I loved that Rory's grandparents came to the party too and that Richard cried and got all teary-eyed talking about how great of a mom Lorelai is and you know how the party was a testament to the friends that she's made in Stars Hollow and it was just such a good series. Like I know I'm really just summarizing the last episode but every part of it. I laughed, I cried, I was attached. I watched it pretty much every day for the past few months. And I'm just gonna miss that show so much. So all my Gilmore Girls fans out there, you get it, you get me, and I love you, okay? And now it's time for a year in the life while I continue scrapbooking and drinking my loose cannons. Hell yeah, I'm a loose cannon tonight. I've been crying a lot today. Oh God, guys, I'm so tired. I forgot to show you my pour of my coffee. This is very important for the sequence of shots in the vlog. That's terrible. Morning, team. <laughs> I went to bed around like 3.30 because I didn't realize how long those episodes are for Gilmore Girls A Year in the Life. They're like an hour and a half long. So I watched the first like hour or so of the first episode and it was pretty good. And then I was kind of being like, isn't this supposed to be over soon? And then I checked the time and I was like, holy shit, I have to go to bed. So then I did. And then I woke up to a message from Finley being like, hey, we headed out around 10. We're heading back now, may stop for lunch or something, but I think everybody's pretty exhausted from the trip. And I was like, oh my God. I thought that he was coming home much later than that. And he's about, I don't know, a little less than a half hour away. So I'm just finishing up some tasks around the house and just gonna start making my little piles of clothes to hang back up. And then I'll add to them today when I'm doing the laundry. But just wanted to update you on my Gilmore Girls total rager that I had with the dogs. I didn't make it very far in my reebs, but that's okay. Sometimes it'd be like that for me. Slow down pretty early. All right, guys, I just had a crazy realization that today is spring forward daylight savings, AKA we trade one hour of sleep for an extra hour of sunlight. And whew, 
this is the best time of the year. Best time of the year. Truly, because I would make that exchange any day for an extra hour of sunlight. I just need us to get rid of daylight savings altogether. I know that it's been talked about, the bill has been kind of thrown around a little bit, but it's never passed in the US, so I really want that to happen. I just think it would be very iconic because we're not living in the in 12th century anymore. Anyway, that explains a lot of things because when I woke up, I was like, how is it this early? I went to bed so late, how did I, what's going on? And every night when I go to bed, I put on a little sleep music song from Silent Rhythm on YouTube. And normally the videos are like 11 hours long. And that's how I know how much I've slept for the most part, unless it takes me a while to fall asleep because it shows how much I've listened to the video, you know? And it said like seven and a half hours, not even. And I was like, how did I sleep this lil? <laughs> but it's so late. Like it just doesn't even make any sense. But then how I finally realized was I went down to get my coffee, right? And I looked at the time on the microwave and it was different than the time on my phone. And I was like, what the freak? <laughs> What's going on here? And then I was like, oh my God, it's probably spring forward. Went up, looked at my calendar. Yep, yep. I remember her, she was a slut. <laughs> Do you guys know that TikTok sound? It's been stuck in my head for so long, ever since I saw this TikTok. I fucking died when I saw this because this was literally Nevin and I on the trip. Yup, man, yup! Yup! I remember her, she was the, she was the slut. It's just so good. I love a silly willy TikTok sound. I save them all when I find them funny. Anyways, good morning, happy Sunday. Rue, just like Lorelai Gilmore. I smell freaking snow, brothers. I smell it. Oh my God, it's flurrying outside. This wasn't supposed to happen on spring forward. It's supposed to be spring. I'm just kidding. I love the snow. Guys, it's been like maybe 10 minutes and the snow is seriously amping up. I looked at the weather forecast and it says that it's gonna snow all day today pretty much and all day tomorrow. So I hope that we'll be able to like, I don't know, do something crazy like go sledding. But you know what's the weirdest thing is that it's not even 32 degrees right now, it's 39 out. Like how are we getting, this is the most snow that we've gotten all season. So I really thought that the snow wasn't coming at all. And when we had that 80 degree day, that was like a couple weeks ago, I thought that, you know, it was all over, but little did I know, <laughs> fucking Punxsutawney Phil was actually right. Damn it. I just realized I never even told you guys this, by the way, but I'm really hoping it fucking warms up in the next coming weeks before my birthday. My birthday is in two weeks. It's on March 24th. And I was kind of talking about this on Twitch the other night because I was trying to figure out the logistics with my friend Garrett. So my friend Garrett here in Virginia owns a bounce house company with his friend. Yep. Yep, he does. And so as soon as I found that out about him, I was like, might have to fuck around and rent one of those for my birthday. So I did, and it's a bounce house slide combo because where I just showed you guys outside, it's just like such a large flat piece of grass out there. And when he first came over to our house, I think it was for Finley's birthday party, he was like, wow, this would be a great place for a bounce house. And I was like, you know what, you're right. You're right, and you made some points. So because I'm turning 26 this year and everybody gets really in their head about 26, I mean, not in the way that they get in their head about 30, but you have to like start paying for your own health insurance and you know, adulting things are happening a lot more than they were when you were like 22 and everybody's getting married left and right. We're going to three weddings this year already. And in honor of all those adult feelings, we're going to be channeling our inner children and just having a bounce house slide moment. I'm so excited for the combo. It looks like this. And I'll try to get a lot of content in the bounce house when we actually have it up in the backyard. But I'm also really hoping that it's not like violently rainy and also hoping that it's sunny and beautiful. So just like manifest that energy for me. Okay, thanks everybody. And other than that, I think we're just gonna kind of hang out in the yard, maybe have a bonfire and do some other outdoor activities. I know I've been wearing the same sweatsuit for every single day in this vlog, by the way. 
and I don't really give a freak. It's really comfortable and I'm breaking it in. Also, Finley is still not home. I have his location and he has mine too, but it's just good for when you're like, what's their ETA? And I was just looking at it and I was like, wait, he's literally going all around town right now. I think he's like dropping people off or something because he was 30 minutes away, but now he's 50 minutes away. He's definitely going out of his way to bring people back to their houses. So we love a caring king. All right, y'all, it's been Cuddle Central since Finley got home. I took this really fucking cute photo of the dogs when he came in because he just smelled like the fire pit, you know, at the cabin and they were just sleeping with him for so long. And I actually took a shower too and then I braided my hair and I got in my snow day jammy jams and warm socks, even though they don't really match. I don't know where all my blue socks are. Normally I'm a color coordinated queen, even with my PJs, but Anyway, I'm about to start making dinner, so I wanted to share it with you, because this recipe I got from Sophie's Munch, and I actually found her originally on TikTok, and then I started following her on Instagram, and Instagram is where I save all of my recipes. So she posted this like a week ago, and I'm making it tonight. Butternut squash ramen, and I'm going to add in some field roast sausage, I think, just to make it even hardier. I'll put the link to this Instagram post in the description box so you guys can go and find it for yourselves, but we're gonna need all of this and then she says how to do the recipe as well and also i wanted to note that 180 degrees is in celsius so i'm gonna do 350 so let's get out all the ingredients Alrighty, this is everything we're gonna need some ramen noodles an onion a butternut squash gorgeous a knob of ginger some curry powder honey miso soy sauce and sausage can't wait. Okay, the butternut squash has been peeled and cubed, and now I'm going to roast it at 350 for like 25 minutes. Now I'm frying my onion solo for five minutes on high heat so it gets nice and crispy. And you're not supposed to add in the garlic and ginger yet because you don't want those to burn while the onion is cooking. I added the fresh garlic cloves and ginger, and now I'm going to add in curry powder at first when i showed you the ingredients i said you just needed curry powder as the seasoning but you also need cumin and turmeric you're going to add in two teaspoons of this onto here and then one teaspoon of each of these i added in about two cups of veggie broth which i also forgot to tell you was part of the ingredients oopsies forgot to read that part of the recipe and now i'm going to add in a teaspoon of soy sauce a teaspoon of honey and a teaspoon of miso while I wait for the butternut squash to be done. All right, I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of winging it now because <laughs> the recipe calls for like mushrooms, I think like 400 grams of mushrooms and then peanuts. And I just don't wanna add any of those things in here. And I also don't have a hand blender and my husband does not like blended soups. Fun fact about him, like he doesn't want it pureed. So I'm just gonna leave it chunky. I'm gonna add in the ramen noodles in here and try to cover it with the broth and the butternut squash that I just added in here. And we're gonna cook these for like five minutes. But I should have definitely not done this in the type of frying pan that I'm cooking this in. I should have done it in like a soup pan. <laughs> I was honestly worried, but this is cooking down pretty good, if I do say so myself. I'll let you know how it tastes, but I have to clean up all of this various broth that's kind of gone everywhere. What the hell is this? Okay, there we go. Freaking bone apple tit, y'all. I added some more butternut squash onto mine because honestly, an entire butternut squash in this was too much. I don't know if I should have added more broth, more noodles, more something. This is what we have left over. Maybe it's because I put in the sausage, so the sausage kind of like soaked up a lot of the broth too, but who knows? It's supposed to serve four. I probably didn't put in enough noodles. <laughs> ah, he's eating my bowl. No, he's eating my bowl. <laughs> Ah! Larry, that's crazy. Oh, good boy. Another beautiful day in Virginia. load this damn dishwasher. Finley and I have an agreement where he empties and I load. So I was honestly waiting for him to get home from his trip to empty the dishwasher. And I used to have to hand wash dishes, so loading them into the dishwasher is much easier. You're such a good boy, my handsomest man. That's a very delicate bite that you took for the vlog. What about you, Rue? Sit. No, she always gets up when she tries to eat 
Sit. Good girl. <laughs> Guys, do you want to hear something crazy? Because we sprang forward an hour in the US, my meeting with my team in Scotland is an hour later because they did not spring forward an hour. So they're still an hour behind us. And I got onto the meeting and I'm like, why is nobody at this Zoom? Where is everybody? And I like messaged my management and they were like, oh no, it's happening in an hour because of daylight savings. And I was like, a fucking course it is. I just feel so jumbled by this time change. I'm never this jumbled. I'm just like, well, well, that happened. But then again, you know, I guess I didn't really notice it in the way of its relation to Scotland in the past. All right, I was doing email work, just like following up on taxes and stuff. And then I realized that my friend Kylie is streaming right now and having a speak now listening party and is doing enchanted makeup baking theories and just discussing all of, you know, the Swifty things. And she's currently making a bunk cake and I'm just obsessed with her. I think that she's so chaotic and funny. And I know she makes YouTube videos too, but I actually found her on no, Twitch. Stop it, look at me. Fuck. No, stop it, look at me. <laughs> oh my Not God. Paula Deen jumping out. It looks so she good. Me for my right now. Anyway, I love Twitch because it introduces me to new people who are iconic Swifties like Miss Kylie. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm still wearing my jammy jams. Honestly, I need to change before I get on this work call because they're going to see me <laughs> and I'm going to be still in my fucking winter jammies. But it's kind of a look, so maybe I won't change. But either way, I'm doing tax stuff right now. And actually, you know what I was going to show you guys is I need to make my to-do lists and just get into all of my journaling. I got both my journals out. And where's my planner? Oh, I think I packed it and brought it to Cabo. I didn't look at it once. So I need to get it out of my backpack and plan my day because today is Monday. And I had an incredibly chill weekend. I didn't get anything done other than just like random chores around the house in one month of stuff in Finley's memory book. But honestly, I'm proud of myself for taking some time to just like readjust and reset. And that was what I was anticipating for this vlog, you know? But now that it's Monday, I've told you guys this before, but now I treat Mondays like my admin days and I love them. I really just plan out everything. I plan out my whole week, do all of my lists, visit every single one of my journals. I normally have a work call on Mondays where we do a guided meditation and then we go into breakout groups and talk about our working priorities for the week and just like connect with other creators. And I also just have a lot of tax stuff to do today in my email. Like I'm just collecting little forms, K1s for my LLC and W2s, you know, all the letters and all the numbers. I'm getting those ready because tax season is upon us and I'm trying to like get ahead of the ball, you know? So highly recommend you guys doing that too, especially if you're self-employed because sometimes it takes a while to do that. And also I'm streaming tonight, so I have to make my stream schedule for the week and really exciting stuff. Our best friends are coming into town this week from Thursday through the following Monday. And if you guys remember our friends, Maddie and Adam from Oregon, we met them in like early 2021. And then they actually moved out like two to three weeks weeks after us out of Oregon and they moved back home to Indiana and they've been there ever since and they're coming to visit us actually not only just Maddie and Adam but also Maddie's mom and brother too and they're like taking a little RV out here making a whole trip of it and we're gonna spend the day with them oh fuck it's also Maddie's birthday today I need to call her anyways that's what the freak I'm up to so that's my Monday recap and I'll show you my little to-do list as I get it figured out up here this is normal structure but really help you with clarity and accountability setting you up um, for the week we're going to spend five minutes doing um, a little bit of box breathing if you want to turn your camera off you can get comfortable in your space look out to your room just try and forget about the screens in front of you this is the uh, method that we're using this week jack will kind of this is jack by the way he'll give us like different methods throughout the weeks but this is the one that we're doing today so must should could won't you can follow it to plan your week if you so please. This is our journaling prompt today if you guys want to do it too. All right, y'all, I'm having some leftover ramen with some 
vegan parm on top, which is just cashews, salt, and nutritional yeast blended together, and it's fantastic. And then I wrote all of my to-do list for the week out on my Notion. This week, Jack made us a Notion template that we could duplicate into our own Notions, and it helped me a lot, because I love Notion. It's truly a sleigh. But I also love to use my daily planner, so after I eat lunch, I'll show you what's in that. All right, this is a look at my week as a whole. I'm getting back to all of my workout classes starting tomorrow. And today I already completed some tasks, but I'm still working on some things. And I really need to make us a dentist appointment because we just haven't been since moving here. So I need to get that set up. And I need to do our laundry because it's currently overflowing this fucking room in here again. Rue knows she's gonna accompany me and we'll watch Gilmore Girls, A Year in the Life. And Larry prefers just his spot on the couch. But maybe you'll come onto the bed in there, Larry. You like it in there. And that's my week at a glance, all right? Guys, I'm making my birthday party invitation because, you know, I really gotta get snappy on this. It's coming up. And I think this is some of my best graphic design work to date. <laughs> Let me just show you. Just look at it. You're invited to Megan's 26 going on six birthday party. Does this intrigue you? Well, hell, I thought so. Come bounce your adult ailments away on Saturday, March 25th at 1.30 p.m. That's the day after my birthday, by the way. This could be you. The worries of paying for our own health insurance are behind us. Childhood wonderment is upon us. If you don't believe me, just ask McConaughey. He won't be there. <laughs> That's one of my favorite screenshots from his like fucking reels that he makes that are just so hysterical to me. And then I just made this. Women want me. Bounce houses fear me. And then at the bottom, I'm going to put our address. But obviously didn't want to share that with you. Just wanted to show you this. So mentally, you'll all be attending this. Hey guys, it's much later now. I've just been editing this vlog all throughout today. And then also I streamed for like four hours tonight on Twitch. I just didn't show any of it. And I made a dentist appointment for myself tomorrow. That's how early availability the dentist had, which was kind of shocking to me because I feel like every appointment that I've made since getting my own dental and health insurance since almost turning 26. Um, and Finley and I, you know, now that we're married, we got like a family plan or whatever but I feel like it's really typical to wait like a month until you're able to be seen by any provider which is pretty inconvenient but we're both going to like a physician this week and getting a bunch of blood work done and just like a physical and all that kind of stuff so I'm honestly excited I haven't been to get a checkup in so long I never had a doctor consistently but yeah today's been a good day and it's been a good vlog and I never got around to the laundry nobody's shocked but the reason I also didn't do it is because I'm still doing loads of laundry since Finley got home from his trip. I knew he would have stinky stinker clothes that he was unpacking and he did. So we have more to do. But tomorrow I'm just going to start cleaning the house for our company that's arriving on Thursday. I'm so fucking excited to see our besties. It's just been so long. Like we haven't seen them since we moved out of Oregon. So it's going to be really great to have some familiar faces visit us in town for a little bit. And until then, I'm just going to be kind of getting work done, going to my workout classes. I'm going to the doctor actually on St. Patrick's Day. So St. Patrick's Day will be happening while I'm not vlogging either. And I'm pretty sure that my next video is going to be a closet clean out. But I also, with my birthday coming up, I'm doing the lessons learned video again. And I love those videos, but I really don't want to just do like a sit down me sitting here being like 26 lessons reading off of a page and last year I cleaned my entire house while I did it but I don't want to redo that whole idea again you know so I'm thinking maybe this year I clean out my closet while I do the 26 lessons I think that would be kind of like a good give and take so we'll see but that's kind of my working idea right now and let me know what you think in the comments down below if you would watch something like that or you just want me to talk about the clothes because i get that too or let me know if you have any other creative ideas for what i can do while i talk about the lessons i've learned i would like go out and garden or something but it's still way too freaking cold to do that and i haven't even started my seeds yet i need to start them indoors but this house is really low light, so I definitely have to start them under a grow light. And in the past, I've honestly just started everything from seed outside and just like seeing what survives. And we very, very rarely start seeds indoors. But this year I'm like, 
might fuck around and find out here in Virginia if that would work for me, but I definitely would have to get on it. I do have some seeds though that my neighbor Olya gave me from her garden when we moved, which was a really nice parting gift. So I can see how they work out here. But anyways, I'm blabbing. I love you. I just wanted to end off this video because it's getting pretty long. And also I just don't really have that much exciting other stuff to show you. I'm gonna go to Zumba in the morning, go to the dentist right after, clean my little heart out until company arrives and then just enjoy some time off with them. But I also wanted to say thank you for giving me some time off too when I went to Cabo because I know a lot of you were excited about the potential of you know seeing Nevin on a vlog again or something like that but I hope that the TikToks were good and fine for you. In Reels I've been uploading them to both platforms and I'll probably put some on YouTube shorts and stuff like that too. So you'll see them some way somehow. I love ya. I'll talk to you in the next video okay? And when I'm not on here you can find me on Twitch or on Patreon where I upload extra content and I live stream. So either or and I'll just talk to you in my next video. All right stay smiling. Bye y'all.